Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Reach out to me for pricing. I am tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a misunderstood watch that was launched back in 2019. A lot of people look at the Patek Philippe 5520P alarm travel time, and they think, well, it looks a lot like a 5524G, and they fail to recognize why this costs as much as five 5524Gs. Also, some folks will say, oh, it's an alarm like a JLC Memovox but it costs as much as an entire life supply of Memovox alarms. This watch right here at $281,000 costs about a hundred grand more than a 5270J, and the reason is it is not just a travel time watch, it's not just made of platinum, it's not just a beautifully loomed pilot style watch. This is the minute repeater of alarm watches, as good as anything from Ulysse Nardin or Harry Winston. In fact, it may be the new standard for alarm watches. And on that basis, we're going to start this video with the alarm. The alarm will chime for 40 seconds if you allow it to. It features conventional round wire gongs and hand-finished strikers and a centrifugal governor to keep the striking rate at approximately 2.5 hertz or a pleasing gentle cadence. Now the watch is large, make no mistake, but with a movement that features well over 500 parts, in fact, 574. The watch is actually as small as it could be given the design constraints. So let's put it on my wrist now. The watch is 42.2 millimeters in diameter. It's 11.7 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 50.8 millimeters with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, you can see it does fit, but I believe you need a wrist of 15 centimeters circumference or larger to wear this. You can see if a wrist were much smaller than mine, it would have trouble pulling it off. And while it might seem that the crowns could be an impediment to a shirt cuff or a sleeve, I find that they're actually so low on the case flank that they're not really a problem if you want to wear this with a longer sleeve. This wears just fine. I'd be very happy to wear it. It is massive though in platinum. And with the diamond between the lugs, the top Vesselton diamond, you know it's a modern day platinum Patek Philippe. The strap is a fascinating piece. Aviator style, like the Calatrava Pilot models, it features thick leather with a sheer cut side, a very lightly contrasting anthracite stitch on a black strap, and then we have the cross hatching stitch that is characteristic of the Calatrava Pilot straps, plus the clevis style counterweighted matching buckle, and you can see it is platinum to match the watch. This is the same buckle you get on the Calatrava Pilots. We have adjusters that allow you to set the local hour, and you can even see that if I wish, I can superimpose local and travel time to clean up the dial, and I drive the pointer style date forward or backwards as I cross the international date line. And yes, that is a pointer style date. A lot of people at first glance think it's the second hand, but you can see the second hand is at center. Now the watch has a lot of fun features. In the first position, you can see I am winding the alarm system, pull it out to the second position. Now I am setting the alarm system in 15 minute increments, pull it out to the third position. Now I activate hacking seconds and I am able to set all of the time in sync. And I'll show you a few more details here because details matter on this watch. The first thing you're gonna notice if you own it is that oftentimes the alarm doesn't wanna arm. You need to fully wind the watch before you can arm the alarm. It's like a minute repeater where you have to fully charge the strike barrel before the repeater will operate correctly. You cannot arm the alarm if the barrel for the striker is not fully wound. There's also a system that is designed to relieve pressure. If you accidentally overwind, you will not break the spring in the chiming or strike barrel. So they thought of everything there. Now the crown when it's flush is in winding position. The crown when it's in its middle position allows you to adjust the time. And you can see that the time can be adjusted in those 15 minute increments with great precision. 
Now, what's also important here is that, and I'll show you something else that's very important with respect to setting the time on the alarm. See how there is a little shaded aperture below it? That lets you know whether you're looking at day or nighttime, so you can set this alarm in a 24-hour format, and that's absolutely key. If you don't take note of that, you may wonder why the watch is not striking. It could be because whatever time you have set is 12 hours off the time you actually want it to strike, so keep that in mind. And then again, the outermost position sets all of the time indications. We have here a crown that will lock, and you can lock or unlock the crown. So if it won't, for some reason, arm the watch, just remember the crown might be locked. And you cannot arm the alarm if the strike barrel is not fully wound. Now here we have these quarter turn locking plus minus adjusters, so you can make changes to your local time. Just keep that in mind. There's a lot to remember with this watch. And one of the things you have to remember is if you want to use the little pusher adjuster to make a change to the date, don't do so between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Now the watch dial does feature applied white gold numerals and hands at center to match. The hands at center have been blackened. You can see they're a hybrid of a broadsword and a syringe design. And then we have a concentric pattern for the radial date indicator. Now, there's not a display case back on this watch, but you can see my other videos of the 5520P in order to get a look at the movement. The movement's in alphabet soup. It is the AL30-660SCFUS, automatic winding with a 55 or 52-hour power reserve, pardon me. The stop seconds function, it beats way at 4 hertz. It's accurate to minus... Three plus two seconds per 24 hours, 574 parts, 52 joules, six position adjustment, free sprung gyromax style balance, and an anti-magnetic silicon spiromax hairspring. The alarm will chime for 40 seconds when fully wound. It has the secondary time zone in the alarm, all of this water resistant down to 30 meters. And if you're disappointed that you can't actually see, don't worry. The watch comes with a second case back that is sapphire, so you can appreciate that gorgeous minute repeater style gong and striker system on this AL330-660. So don't worry, it's included along with a steamer trunk worth of accessories that come with the watch. And you can see that you're able to remove the strap using only your fingernail with Patek Philippe's signature quick-release spring bars. So if you love this watch and you finally get why it costs 281 grand and not 57 grand like 5524G, reach out to me, please. Tmaso at thewatchbox.com and we can share our mutual appreciation of this under- appreciated watch.